how are governments in the Caribbean working to strengthen cybersecurity regulation and infrastructure to protect against cyber threats? I think it's a very slow process, you know, and we all have to be honest. Um, we still haven't had, you know, many uh, CSERPs being started. You know, we have in, in, in Jamaica, uh, Grenada slowly, you know, uh, trying to develop their own uh, in Trinidad, more uh, operation from that particular point of view, Barbados to be, you know, implemented. So if you look at the general term or uh, general evolution of digitalization and digital transformation within the Caribbean, um, they're there to help us to develop. But when you look at the risk that comes along, you know, if you decide to uh, walk on the street with all the glamour, gold on, on, on your fingers, rings, chains, everything, you know, we are, we are, saying to the person out there, you know, we are ready to be attacked in, in, in a particular sense. So I think outside of just general regulations and, you know, we have this cybercrime bill in, in, in Barbados, uh, you know, and, and other regulations to, to implement the search and so forth, I think we are slowly getting there within the Caribbean, but I think a lot still needs to be done to bring that level of awareness. And I think one of the signs of any active cybersecurity framework, plan, regulations, whatever you want to call it, is just look at the public awareness. If there's some level of public awareness, you definitely know that there's some program, but some people will say it otherwise. But in the meantime, cyber affects all of us, not only businesses, not only governments, but we as general users of these services, etc.